Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercard video, episode 57. Um, in the last episode, last couple of episodes, while I was actually gone over the weekend and all of that, it is um, 11 o'clock on Monday morning. I got home on Sunday at about like 6 and then slept to 1 o'clock, woke up, watched the Royal Rumble and since then I have been sitting in this chair. Now, um, thank you guys for the amazing support on the last two episodes and especially on the video where I got The Undertaker. Uh, I know it's a bit controversial, a couple people are, you know, a couple hate comments on there. Um, but I suppose I, I should have expected that bragging about my Undertaker. Again, that wasn't the purpose of the video, but, you know, it's up there now. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for the support. Um, now, let's play a little bit of Royal Rumble. I'm going to play about, um, I'm going to play both of them and we're going to see if we still got 24 picks afterwards or not. Because um, if not, the event's over and I don't have to keep uh, stalking Supercar's Twitter page. But there's a lot of things we need to talk about today. Um, Gameplay-wise, there's no events out, but we'll talk about that as well. So yeah, there's loads of talking points. Andre the Giant, let's play you, man. So, um, the Royal Rumble. Let's quickly, briefly go over that. Um, and then we'll get to the... Yeah, we'll get to it. So there's a couple of things. First, if you guys saw my prediction video, I'm right on quite a, quite a few things, which is always good. I always like being right. Um, the Mickey James, Alexa Bliss, Natalia versus Nikki... Um, Naomi and Becky Lynch that was announced after the video so I didn't know that was a thing but I if I before the match started obviously believe me or not I, just, I thought the faces would win that as it's nothing important and it's a kickoff we'll always give the wins to the face when you know you can that's what I think WWE always try and do and I was right and they did so I would have been right on that but some of you probably won't believe me that I went for the faces. Anyway, um, I got the um, Raw Tag Team that the Raw Tag Team Championship match, the Bullet Club versus Cesaro and Sheamus. I predicted wrong. Very very surprised that the Bullet Club won. They are the new tag team champions, uh, the Raw Tag Team Champions. Congratulations to them. They haven't been very well treated since they got. Um, since they moved from Japan to uh, WWE, and uh, they're, they're finally, they're finally, they're finally the tag champs. So congratulations to them. Let's see how old they can, how long they can hold them for, and to who they will drop them. Um, probably Cesaro and Sheamus is the best option to drop them to afterwards, and then they can go on a decent, uh, a decent run, and then eventually drop them to um, Enzo and Cass. Who knows? But yeah, so I got that wrong. But apart from that, I didn't get much else wrong. So the Nia Jax, um, Sasha Banks, Nia Jax kind of squashed um, Sasha Banks. It was it was very much easier than I thought it was going to be for Nia Jax. I thought there was going to be a bit of um, you know just not not a clean finish of the match. Some kind of some kind of interference, some kind of cheating or or more of a fight from Sasha, but it was, it, you know, Nia Jax, congratulations to her. Now um, now she might be feuding with, I don't know, maybe Charlotte. Maybe Charlotte's next, and maybe Bailey will feud with Sasha, as I said in that prediction video. But anyway, let's go on to the main show. Um, Charlotte versus Bailey. I predicted Charlotte. Charlotte won. Wasn't expecting anything else, really. Um, you know... Good on Charlotte. I like her very much. She's probably my top like, like favorite right now with Alexa Bliss, and, uh, and she's doing well. Then we move on on to Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens, which was a bit much better match than I thought. Um, much better than I thought. It was actually quite decent. I actually quite enjoyed it. <coughs> I knew Kevin Owens was. Uh, I knew Kevin Owens. Sorry, I knew um, that Chris Jericho was going to interfere in some way. Um, and it was no point putting him in the shark cage. I predicted maybe that he would interfere um, in the cage of some light in some way. He did, throwing the brass knuckles down. Um, they didn't like exactly give the win, but yeah. Bit annoying that Roman Reigns kicked out of a lot of big spots in that match. The stunner, the brass knuckles, the... There's a, quite a big spots that Roman Reigns kicked out of, but at the end he lost, which is good. And I'm glad... And we can just leave it there, okay? Um, 
Next, we have AJ Styles versus John Cena. What a match. What a match. Oh my god, what a match. It was it was really, really good. Um, really good spots after really good spots. Really f thoroughly enjoyed that match. Um, and I really I haven't felt so confident and sure on a winner on who's going to win a match in a long, long time. I didn't doubt it for a second that John Cena was going to win. I knew for a while. I, not, I didn't know because no one can, but I had a really big gut feeling and it came out to be true. And just, and yeah, well, a lot of people felt it was John Cena's moment and John Cena was going to do it. He did. And it was a really good match. Credit to both of them. Um, sad to see AJ without the title. He'll get it back eventually. That I'm not worried about. He's just phenomenal. Um, but yeah, now Don Cena's finally tied Ric Flair's record after quite a couple years now without holding that belt. So, congratulations. And that was really match of the night. And now we move on, on to the worst kind of thing on the pay-per-view for me. Um, the Royal Rumble is what I look forward to probably the, the most in, in the year, okay? Like, I do actually really like Elimination Chamber, but it's, it's been on and off for a couple years. We've never... Last really good Elimination Chamber was like four years ago. We didn't have one last year. The year before that, I don't know what happened. I think one of them, the year before that, Jack Swagger or someone won it. And anyway, haven't had a good, haven't had a good elimination chamber for a long, long time. So happy to have a good one now. But Royal Rumble still probably my favourite pay per view and like my favourite kind of match because it's just so unpredictable and it's always just amazing. But the Royal Rumble. Um, yeah, it will. It, it disappointed me a lot. Now, no, no legends, no surprise returns, no one except Ty Dillinger who entered at number ten. Uh, and give credit where credit's due. You did that WWE. You did well on that. But now let's get let's get to let's get down to the serious things. Um, the the first part of the rumble was slow. There was it, it wasn't it wasn't great. And let's 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 say this, okay? We we they on Raw for the last two months, month, I don't know how long it's been, we've been seeing Goldberg, Brock, Undertaker. Each one week they come on and the next week is another one and then maybe there'll be two of them on, on a on a Raw show, maybe once a month, and then it's another combination of the two, and they've been hyping it up for so long and for not just one of them, not just, not, not even both, but all three of them didn't last f at least five minutes in the Rumble. Not one of them lasted more than five minutes. Um, Brock Lesnar, I'm shocked that he got eliminated like that. I, I was shocked. The Undertaker, and I respect the hell out of this man, he is an amazing, like, he's done, like, I really, and, like, I say this, makes me feel bad, but he did not look great. I mean, he was, he was quite slow, he looked a bit out of shape, obviously, I know he's, like, 50 years old, but they shouldn't be booking him in matches if that's, you know... I don't know what you guys thought about it. Maybe I, maybe you know, I'm thinking too much about it. But Undertaker, I was, I was, yeah, I was a bit worried there for him for a sec. I mean, that spear was very, it was, yeah, we Goldberg obviously didn't. It wasn't, you know, I mean, it was very, a very light spear. It looks like he couldn't really, you know, you know, take any bumps or anything, and and that's making me think, oh, okay, well, maybe it's a good thing Undertaker didn't win the Rumble because. Yeah, uh, yeah, maybe, you know, it's definitely, I think overall it's definitely a good thing he didn't win. So anyway, once we take away, once we get rid of Brock Lesnar, Goldberg and Undertaker have been hyped up for a month, at least, they did, it was just all really weird and just not very good. Um, then you have Baron Corbin eliminating Braun Strowman, which was quite a shock. Um, Chris, oh God, and then the most irritating thing has got to be... Um, yeah, like Apollo Cruz came out in the late twenties, and then Enzo More came out in the in the late twenties, and then obviously the the three the three uh, part timers came out in the on take a Goldberg Brock Lesnar they all came out in the late twenties, and then yeah as I said Apollo Cruz, so at that point I was like all right, 
Look, we got one number left, number 30. It's going to probably be Samoa Joe. I, I was saying to myself, I'd be happy with Samoa Joe. Obviously, I'd really love Kurt Angle, Jeff Hardy, um, Finn Balor. Um, I, I probably would have preferred Samoa Joe than Finn Balor, actually. But I was gonna. T I was ready to see any of those. I was like, all right, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Jo I'll take Joe. I, I like Joe very much. Kurt Angle would have been an incredible moment, but it's probably not gonna happen. So I was like, all right. Let, let's 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 get ready for number thirty. As long as it's not like our truth. <laughs> I was in my head. I was like, okay, could, could this be our truth or someone? Um, and then the buzzer hits, and then it's Roman Reigns. So Roman Reigns comes out at number 30. First of all, what the fuck? I mean, Roman Reigns. So I watched a video and someone made a very good point. So Roman Reigns lost his match to Kevin Owens, yet he's in the Rumble. AJ Styles lost. Why Why was he not in the Rumble? Oh my god, that number's very unlucky. By the way. Okay, we don't have 12 or 24 picks anymore, which means the event is officially over, which means... We've had three QR codes on Twitter. Not one. Not 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 even like one a day. Well, technically, maybe one. A, well, the event lasted four days for some people, I suppose. If you think about it, and like, well, yeah, started. Yeah. Anyway, that is outrageous. By the way, three QR codes in, in like four days, and the amount of people who haven't got a, an Undertaker. I'm not complaining because I have got one, but I'm just saying, uh, first of all, I think way, way more people should have got them, and I should have got a pro. <laughs> anyway, um, the the Royal Rumble, the Royal Rumble, the Royal Rumble. Yeah, number 30 is Roman Reigns. He eliminated the Undertaker. I mean, what a piss take. Uh, and then said, this is my yard to take a, take a look. Oh, my God, they're going to build Taker versus Reigns, aren't they? If they do, oh god, Roman Reigns is probably going to win as well. <sighs> anyway, let's talk about the, the main part of this, of, of the Royal Rumble. Randy Orton, he won. What do I think about it? Um, let me just get this straight. I'm so happy it's not uh, Roman Reigns, because then I would have, I think the, everyone would have rioted. But I'm happy it's Randy Orton, not at all. Not at all. Um, I haven't felt any hype around him since he returned at SummerSlam. Um, I, I don't know, he, he kind of just went back into, you know, into just a, a nice place in the card. He's finally not main eventing all the time, and he's doing good, and in, I'm enjoying watching him with the Wyatts, I'm enjoying watching him wrestle, but... He didn't feel all that special since he returned, and then now he's won the Rumble. I personally, is Randy Orton overrated? We had a conversation about it on stream the other day. Some people think he is, some people think he's not. Is he talented? Yes. Is he awesome? Yes. I don't think he should have won the Rumble, though. I mean, again, why why, why didn't Bray Wyatt win it? He was in the final three. Just make Bray Wyatt win it. Randy's already had a, a victory in the Rumble. Make Make... What they're gonna do, and spoiler alert, but it might, they might not exactly do this. But what everybody I think is at this point thinking to themselves is, um, Bray Wyatt's gonna win Elimination Chamber, and they're gonna meet at um, do 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 WrestleMania. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? That's what they're saying. I don't think. It will happen, just because I don't think Bray Wyatt will lose it. I don't think Bray Wyatt will win. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. But anyway, overall, I'm going on a little bit here, which I always do. But overall, I was really disappointed with the Rumble match. Um, the pay-per-view itself delivered. But it's, it's going to remain on a sour note for me just because of that. The Royal Rumble is named the Royal Rumble because of the Royal Rumble match. You turn into the Royal Rumble to watch the Royal Rumble, okay? Yes, you get to see all those amazing matches before, and yes, John Cena and AJ tore the roof off, uh, but the Royal Rumble is the, the the match you want to see. It's the end. It's the, it's it's that is why you why everybody loves the Royal Rumble so much because of the surprise returns and and someone you loved like twenty years ago just you hear their music again and get to see them go down to the ring and it's. 
We had no surprise returns. I mean, the only, the closest we got was Ty Dillinger, which was one of the most predictable things ever. Um, James Ellsworth, fuck that. And um, Mark Henry. That's it. That's it. That, that, that was literally it. Um, but whatever. It was, it was, it was, yeah, I'm a bit, very disappointed at the end of that. Uh, the Rumble match overall, it was disappointing. But, we move on, Elimination Chamber in only two weeks, hopefully, that will be better. And, uh, yeah. So, let's talk about one more thing really quickly, and that is, um, the event, the team event. Let me, we're gonna go show you guys the cards, let me just get two picks here. Boom. Boom, ba -da -ba -da boom. Oh, by the way, I've proed my Brock Lesnar. Um, he's done. He's done. He's done. So he gets into my deck for RTG, which will be after the team RTG. And look who it is. It's none other than John Cena. That's actually a really good card. I'm happy to get that card. Single. Uh, Elite Sheamus, I kept one uh, when I when I poured a Sheamus the other day. Um, I'm going to pro him, so I'll Silver Star pro him, and then we can get rid of him. Roman Reigns. <sighs> Roman Reigns. No one likes you, Roman. No one likes you. Um, Sasha Banks, that's good. For, that's really, really good for a lot of people who are sh like just getting in. Like, I know most people are in the new tiers, hard and elite. Uh, but there are some people who are just almost in it, and and I'm gonna get there very close. I know that because a lot of people come in my stream and say that Summer Slam Blast, Summer Slam Blast, Blast, and so this could be very helpful for them. Neville, uh, face Neville, on the picture, and yeah, this is what it's look, looking like. Um, there was a little bit of a mini glitch f uh, when it when it first came out. There were two Ultimate cards and no Harden card. They probably just didn't want to put Roman out there, but. There was um, an ultimate Carl Anderson. Um, I, I like it. The event popped up like I was on it like ten seconds after like after it came up. Quickly went on it just to see what it was, and uh, and that's that's where it was. That it went from uh, Sasha Banks to um, Sheamus. Uh, Cena was the the biggest one, and then next to Cena and in between Sheamus it was Carl Anderson, which they removed because that was a mistake. And John Cena's the card. So, yeah, now, guys, um, with me going out uh, this weekend, and if you guys follow my Snapchat, you'll see um, where I went, and how that went, and why I couldn't really make videos over the weekend, and it was quite exhausting, time-consuming, did I get myself the Mankind? Now, um, I did, I did get the Mankind, barely, but I did. Uh, and there we go. So yeah, Gold Dust, Luke Gallows, and uh, Mankind. So that's pretty good. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this again. Quite a short video. Um, there's actually going to be a special video later out later on tonight. So look out for that. It is going to be a bit of a special video. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow for episode 58 of WWE Supercard. And tomorrow will be another episode of The Wheel. And uh, yeah, because the events aren't haven't done that in a while. So anyway, leave a like on the video, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Till then, peace out and take care. Bye.